reality TV is not like it is today. Back in the days, you were on the very, very early stages of reality TV, especially in terms of making real artists into stars. Nowadays, it's accepted. You know, you can have a Cardi B go on a love and hip hop. Her light shines through their platform and everybody in the world take her serious as an artist. Now, this is what I want to say. When we did it, it was uncharted territory. Even though you had the first installment, we're making the band with the old town and all that shit. We was the first all black cast for the making the band, for the making the band imprint. So what I want to want to tell you is even up until the infamous cheesecake walk was totally proof that not even Puff knew what the fuck to do. He was just winging it. He was just buying his sub time to try to come up with some other shit for us to do because he had nothing for us to do. It's that fast. He signed the deal. He did the auditions. He picked his camera start rolling. There wasn't even enough time to sit down and devise a whole plan for us. So you was watching it unfold as as it was as you was watching it unfold. We was literally stuck in a hotel for two or three days. They called us to the studio. We was we had cabin fever for being in the hotel all fucking weekend. So when we get to the studio, we kids. Yo, when we gonna get in the studio? He like, when y'all gonna get in the studio? I better slow down. Yo, go over here and do this. But that's the same shit he had to do when he was under Andre Harrell. He had to go get dry cleaning. He had to go retrieve this and that and this. And it's the same shit. So he was like, shit, if I did it and I'm looking at, I'm a multi-million dollar motherfucker, why can't y'all do it? It's just a military exercise. Some people call it humiliation ritual. Some people call it just getting pure out played. But it's a military exercise. It's to bring the members of the group closer together, even if he has to be the tyrant in the situation. Because we have to be on tour selling a product. So we're we not in unison. How are we going to sit together when we're not on the, we on the road? Military exercise. It goes down all the time. You know what I mean? Military commanders do it all the time to their platoons. All the time. Now, you know, looking back on this, hindsight's always twenty twenty, and And obviously, I hear it in your voice. You can respect it. Back when you was going through it, could you and your bandmates respect what he was doing? Really having a trial by fire where y'all had to prove how bad I really want this thing. Nah, we was kids. And other people seemed to like, um, you know what I mean, Diddy just was like, you know what I mean, just throwing his power around. But it's like, you know what I mean? I'm going to say this. The military guys is not coming home telling you exactly what happened in the military, the process. Guys that work at the, guys that come up from the police academy, they're not revealing the inside things that the, the, the normal civilians don't know. The only thing that made us look bad is because you actually got to see the hazing process, the, the artist development process, and people didn't, it didn't sit right with people because they didn't know this is what goes on. So, you know, hip hop is real braggadocious, real machismo, and to, 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 to make an artist look less than in front of the eyes of the whole world. Some some people just didn't want to get behind it. And just just different energy coming off us when the show was over. It was look made us look like some guys that just was doing what another guy said as opposed to people that was really living a dream and really, you know what I mean, embarking on a a fruitful career in music. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.